Hey y'all, and welcome back to Graphic Content, the show where I make a design for one of my favorite wrestlers while telling you why they're one of my favorite wrestlers. And today, since it is of course the holiday season, I think it's only fair that we celebrate the man known as jolly old Saint Mick, Mick Foley. Now, I'll be honest, the design I had in mind for today is actually a design that's already been done at Great Minds Think Alike and all that, but I wanted to do a variation on Foley's iconic Cactus Jack shirt, but making it Christmas themed. Turns out, Mick Foley has already done that to promote I Am Santa Claus, so uh, oopsie poopsies, bobody's nerfed, I guess. Uh, so today, I'm actually just going to be doing my own spin on the same idea because I am an uncreative lump of clay. Now, I don't think that there's a better case study in the bizarre duality of professional wrestlers than Mick Foley. He's a guy that became synonymous with the hardcore professional wrestling scene, brutally sacrificing his own body to elbow drop guys on the outside, fly through flaming tables, and of course, his most dangerous stunt of all, attempting to make Al Snow interesting. But, on the other hand, Mick Foley's also a guy who's endlessly charitable, unyieldingly kind, and adores putting smiles on people's faces. I've actually had the pleasure of meeting Mick twice throughout my lifetime. He was actually the first wrestler I ever met back in 2011 before one of his stand-up shows, and then again in 2018, where not only did I get to meet Mick, he spent a solid five minutes of his time hanging out with me and my family, talking to us about how he learned to forge Santa Claus's signature, asking me about my own thesis paper I had written about him in college because I'm that kind of nerd, I guess. And most importantly, he did a whole ass intro for us. Hey, this is the hardcore legend Mick Foley and you are listening to Fight Boys. And while I have met numerous wrestlers throughout my time as a wrestling nerd, to me, Foley is just the litmus test for what it means to go above and beyond for your fans. I mean, I'm sure in his mind he thinks his legacy was left inside the Hell in a Cell, a match that saw him plummet 15 feet through a table, get choke slammed to the cage itself, and uh, look, I'll be honest, if you don't know what all happened in the middle of that Hell in a Cell match with The Undertaker, just go and watch it right now, you don't need to talk to me. But to me, Mick Foley's legacy actually isn't Hell in a Cell. It's the endless kindness that he treated others with and the boundless creativity that he had inside of the squared circle. He always managed to take things just that little step further. It wasn't enough to be a hardcore legend. Mick explored what these death matches would do to a man's psyche, even going so far in ECW to begin to campaign against the very match types that made him famous and against the ECW fans themselves. Mick realized that quenching the audience's thirst for blood would only end up making them hungrier. Do we fully? Is a three-year-old boy. You sick sons of bitches! When he began appearing in the WWF as the deranged mankind, it wasn't enough for him to be a dark, brooding performer. He explained what made mankind tick and gave a full, iconic origin story through a series of interviews with Jim Ross. Don't you look at me with that smug look! You make me sick! A man of integrity! I want to smack you! And the most important thing about Mick Foley to me is how violently he ripped apart and tore to shreds the mold for what it meant to be a WWE wrestler. He wasn't muscle bound like Triple H, he didn't look like a movie star like The Rock, but he was still on their exact same level. He was still a worthy WWF champion, a worthy Hall of Famer, which inspired several more unlikely superstars to follow in his wake. He was someone that all of us could see ourselves in. He had flaws. He had issues, he liked sock puppets just a little bit too much, but when he succeeded, it wasn't just his success, it was all of our success. Going against a million dollar mold generated by a billion dollar company and proving that anybody can make it. To me, the professional wrestling that we see today 
doesn't exist without Mick Foley, the torchbearer for the misfits, the one who set the precedent that said a furry little goat man from Washington could be the WWE champion, the president that said that two weirdos from Canada are worthy WrestleMania main eventers, the president that professional wrestling is for everyone, and thus needs to represent everyone, which is something that we've always tried to preach here. Right here, on the Fight Boys YouTube channel. Bang Bang! Alright, so there it is, my special Christmas design for Mick Foley, and of course, a cheap pop, as is tradition. What do you think? Did I outdo the real thing, or do I still need to step up my game? Let me know in the comments below, and of course, leave your favorite Foley memories, whether that be from Cactus Jack, Mankind, Dude Love, or of course, Jolly Old Saint Mick himself. And remember, while you're down there, to smack that subscribe button just to get some Fight Boys in your feed every single week. And of course, never forget, folks, that when you're a Fight Boy, you're a Fight Boy for life! Have a nice day!